Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delby here and welcome back to another video here on my channel. And in this video today, we are going to be doing episode three of my series, Zombie Map Showdown. If you guys don't know what Zombie Map Showdown is, basically what I do is I could I take two maps from Call of Duty Zombies and I compare them and see what the overall better map is. At the end of the video, I will say what I think is the overall better map. Now, there's been two previous episodes of this series that are on my channel. If you guys haven't seen those and want to see them, link will be in the in the description below for both those videos. So in today's episode for Zombie Map Showdown, the two maps that we are going to be comparing here are one map from Black Ops 3 and one map from Black Ops 2 and one map that is also in Zombie Chronicles. This map's in Black Ops 2 and Zombie Chronicles and we all know what that map is. That map is Origins. So in this video, we are going to be comparing Der Eisendrack with Origins. These two maps are very unique and very similar. They are both the only maps in all of Zombies history that has four wonder weapons and four elemental upgrades. In Origins, we see the staffs. You can obviously upgrade all that. In Der Eisendrack, we have the bows. So you can obviously upgrade all the bows. So these are the only two maps in history to ever have four wonder weapons that can all be upgraded. And honestly, the staffs and the bows are very similar in what they do. And they're just overall awesome, awesome wonder weapons. So it is going to be pretty tricky to see what is the overall better wonder weapons out of the two. But in this video, we are going to discuss that and a lot of other things. So for the first category here, we're going to go with guns. So out of Origins and Der Eisendrack, which map has the better guns? If you look at Der Eisendrack, we obviously have the Wrath of Agents. That thing is a beast, non upgraded. And when you upgrade them to the Fire Bow, the Void Bow, the Storm Bow, and the Wolf Bow, these four things, every single one is good. Now, in my opinion, the Void Bow is the worst and the Storm Bow is definitely the best. But even the worst one, even the Void Bow is absolutely amazing. Every single upgrade on this bow is absolutely amazing. And the Wrath of Ancients alone, not upgraded, is awesome as well. So the Wrath of Ancients and all the upgrades are super amazing and by far one of the best wonder weapons of all time in all of Call of Duty Zombies. In Origins, we have the four staffs and the staffs are classic and the staffs can easily be the best weapon of all time in all of Zombies. They're such classic weapons. By far, one of the best wonder weapons of all time in all of Zombies. The staffs are absolutely awesome. We also have the Mauser in Origins and this thing is a beast. The Bloodhound and the Mauser are by far the two best starting pistols of all time in all of Zombies. I mean, the Mauser is just a beast and pack-a-punch, it is 10 times better. The Mauser definitely beats Der Eisendrak's MR6 by far. The Mauser is an absolute beast and pack-a-punching it. Highly recommend pack-a-punching it if you're playing Origins. By far, a awesome gun. The Mauser is definitely better than the MR6 and definitely one of the best starting pistols of all time. In Der Eisendrak, we have the Ragnaroks, and these things are good. They're good in Der Eisendrak. In Revelations, they're not good. I try not to use them in Revelations just because when you use the Ragnaroks in Revelations, it can cause game crashes. So I try to stay away from Ragnaroks in Revelations. But in Der Eisendrak, the Ragnaroks are awesome. They are great in high rounds against Panthers. If you have a lot of Panthers coming your way and you have the Ragnaroks, just place the Ragnaroks down and the Panthers will go up in the air and it'll be much easier to actually kill the Panzer. So the Ragnaroks are very helpful in Der Eisendrak and they're just super awesome weapons. So which map has the overall better weapons? I'm going to have to go with Origins. I mean, in Origins, we have the Mauser again, nothing can beat that. We have the Staffs and we also have the Maxis drone as well. The Maxis drone is a super awesome weapon, super cool, unique weapon. So I mean, just overall, Origins has the better weapons. So now let's move on to Easter eggs. Now, if you guys watched my latest video, you guys are going to know what I think has the overall better Easter egg. So if you look at the Easter eggs for Origins and Horizon Drac, the Origins Easter egg overall is a classic, classic Easter egg. It is definitely one of the best Easter eggs. It, it, it was the first ever Easter egg to have a cutscene. Everything about the Easter egg is awesome. It's not too difficult and it's great for speed running. I have a lot of fun speed running on Origins, but unfortunately I always fail. I'm never close to any records on Origins because, you know, to be honest, I don't think I'll ever get a Easter egg speed run record, but it is still fun trying on Origins. It's definitely much funner to try Origins speed runs than Der Eisendrack speed runs. Der Eisendrack does have a pretty cool and interesting Easter egg. It is a very fun Easter egg to do. There's a lot of cool, unique things in this Easter egg, but honestly, Origins definitely has a better Easter egg. You can't beat Origins. It's so hard to beat Origins, especially the Easter egg. Origins by far definitely has the better Easter egg. So now which map is more fun to play? Now I think that Origins is the best map on BO2 and I think that the Rise and Drac is the best map on BO3. So these are, in my opinion, the two best maps on their respective games. So it's going to be difficult to see which map is overall more fun to play. 
Now, I definitely played Der Eisendrack more, I think, than Origins, to be honest. I mean, when Der Eisendrack first came out, non-stop grinding on that map. I mean, obviously when Origins came out and when Zombie Chronicles came out, I played a lot of Origins, but I still think I played a lot of Der Eisendrack. I think I played Der Eisendrack more because I just enjoyed that, that map so, so much. It is such an awesome map. I think Der Eisendrack, for me, is just overall more fun to play. I mean, there's so much cool things in Der Eisendrack. From upgrading the bows to, to just doing the Easter egg, to just playing the overall map. Like, the map is super, super cool. A lot of good training spots, a lot of good camping spots. So, it's just an overall fun map to play. Now, Origins is fun as well, but in my opinion, Der Eisendrack is just a bit more fun to play than Origins. Both maps look super cool. I mean, in Origins, the weather changes. It can it can rain, it can snow. So, the weather changes in Origins. That's pretty cool. And Der Eisendrack, you know, the map's set in Austria. It's snowy, just in a castle. Overall, cool theme. Both maps have cool themes and cool settings. Basically, you know, origins set in World War One in France, Der Eisendrack in Austria. So both maps have these awesome settings and awesome themes. This is by far the toughest zombie map showdown video yet, just because these two maps are super, super good, and I don't really want to, you know, label one better than, than the other, just because they're both super awesome, but I'm gonna have to label one here. And if I had to choose the overall better map, it is going to be Origins, but just by a bit. I mean, Der Eisendrack comes super close to Origins in my opinion. Both maps, again, super awesome, but if I had to pick one, it's definitely Origins. The reason why is because the Easter egg is a classic Easter egg. The overall map setting is super, super, super cool. And the staffs, you can't beat the staffs. They're just the classic OG, OG staffs, the OG wonder weapons are just, they're just great, great. Well, they're not OG wonder weapon, the ray guns, the OG wonder weapon, but you know, they're still pretty classic and the overall, in my opinion, better map just by a bit though. So that is it guys for zombie map showdown episode three. This was a big one. It was definitely a juicy one. Dura Eyes and Dragon Origins, definitely a juicy video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you're new here, I'm Dolby and I'll see you guys in the next one.